Back in ETV. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Balcony TV Los Angeles. I'm your host, Nick Stubbs. We're here with Joel Taylor. Dude, what's going on? How you doing? Man, I'm loving this uh, rooftop up here. Me too. I it's mean, a beautiful day. Absolutely. Southern California. For sure. Uh, what are you going to be playing for us? I'm going to be playing um, my first song, my new, it's my debut. It's called Ooh. Two Sides. Yeah, All right. I know, fancy. Yes. And uh, yeah, it's kind of like a little soulful, Australian soulful ballad for you. Go for it. Yeah. All right. There's a man in the mirror Who's following me Changing and learning From the things that he sees Shares with the shadows Darkness and gloom When there's one part of me He can't take And that's you I got two sides But you both can't sit next to me I got two sides To find the middle ain't so easy Maybe soon you'll find out what I'm all about. I got two sides. There's a hole in my head where the thoughts go. And a smile on my face to never ever let you know my mind is upside down spinning around trying to find my answer that just can't be found no they can't be found But you both can't sit next to me I got two sides To find the middle ain't so easy And maybe soon you'll find out What I'm all about I got two sides Man, I gotta say, Billy Joe, watch out. Oh, okay, I uh, love that. Yeah. It is Joel, so. Well, it's true. I'm gonna take so, his name. Well, let's talk about the two sides. Where we, uh, 
Is that the uh, one that you want to give the rest of the world and then to hold back the rest for yourself to keep yourself grounded? It, it is. Um, you know, I've always, like, I'm an easygoing, extroverted sort of person, but there's definitely, you know, a big part of me that is very quiet and uh, insulated from the world, you know? Well, I mean, you got to hold the uh, parts that are uh, most important to you close so you don't allow people to steal them. Well, that's true. Yeah, you know, I, I feel like I've always been, like, really... You know, I love being alone. I like cooking. I like doing reading books. I like, you know, I could be a hermit and never see anyone. Sounds like a uh, Tinder profile. Yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> I like cooking, reading books, and walks on the beach. Um, you know, but then there's a part of me that wants to go and play shows and entertain people and like just have fun. So you know, I definitely have always kind of battled with this balance of of those two sides. Uh, yeah, I'm a I'm actually a uh, extroverted introvert, so oh. I think that might be a little bit on what your level is. Exactly. Cool. Exactly. So let's talk about you. I mean, cool thing is uh, you're from Australia, so brownie points already. Uh, and the fact that you were uh, in high school, you just loved music, but you also wanted to be a professional tennis player. So you did like six hours each each day. I mean, yeah, that's... I was playing. Yeah, I was playing tennis either before school or after school all night till you know eight ten o'clock at night every day then on the weekends playing tournaments and then i was trying to fit music kind of in between all of it and driving my whole family like crazy and i just uh kind of cold turkey quit tennis and then and you decided to here. move here yeah I moved here just so, after i finished high school what was that like two weeks after it might have been a, a week well, yeah, no, no, you're, you're right. It was about two weeks. I moved here at the beginning of December, and uh, I came straight here, and um, I just started playing gigs and studying piano. So and... let's talk about those gigs. Uh, most people, when they just jump into music and move out here, they uh, struggle, but you were playing with the Doors. I mean, yeah. that's kind of a big deal, I think. Yeah. I, I mean, I read about that in a book. Yeah, in a, in a book. In a book. Um, yeah, you know, it was it was crazy. I. I I moved here, I started playing in like bars, played at this place called the Piano Bar, I was playing at all these different clubs around town, and um, it kind of just grew after, you know, I just, you know, I did hundreds of gigs probably, and I ended up living in this awesome house in Echo Park with this guitar maker, who's amazing, his name's James Trussard, he makes steel guitars and all these things. That's awesome. And he makes guitars for um, one of the guys. And they were over one day, and they were just casually saying, you know, we have this show coming up, it's our 50th anniversary Doors show, um, we need a keyboard player. And James was just like, oh, Joel, Joel play. That's so awesome, dude. And that was, literally, that was it. They're like, oh, really, you want to play? And I said, yeah, that'd be great. And he was like, oh, cool, all right, I'll yeah. send you a song. No big deal. No big Done. deal. And uh, I had sweaty palms, it was stressful. <laughs> I mean, kind of a big deal. Yeah, it was, uh, they have diehard fans. Uh, so you better yeah. not you better not mess up some classic, you know, Doors intros. But I, I was, think I was great. raised on that myself. Yeah, right. And so let's talk a little bit more about like your new album that's coming up and everything. I mean, you just released it. Uh, can you tell who was uh, working with you on it? Yeah, so um, it's called Two Sides, aptly named. Uh, this is the first EP I've ever done, my debut. And uh, so it's two songs and uh, you know, I, I played everything except for drums. My, uh, I had one of my best friends come and play drums, which was awesome. And uh, we did it here in LA. I did some in my house. I did some at this great studio in Silver Lake. And, um, you know, it really came together nicely. And I got uh, this guy named Bob Clear Mountain to mix it, who's mixed all my favorite albums ever, from Bruce Springsteen to The Stones. And, I mean, just uh, throwing out the solid names over here. Oh my God, it's crazy. I mean, it's crazy. I, re I mean, me coming from Australia, to now be in LA with all these like legendary, amazing people all the time. It's its pretty awesome. Well, just coming from personal experience, I can tell you if you have good energy in this town, they can read it real quick and they're like, oh, this is someone that's actually got something going on. Yeah. And I can tell that uh, easily with you. Oh, thanks. I mean, you know, I, I really feel like if you just do what you love and you're nice to people and you work hard, like good things start to happen. So, I feel like most of LA needs to get that memo though. Yeah, Los Angeles, that's what you need to learn. Yeah, for sure, man. Uh, so, do you have any big struggles going on right now? I know you've got so many awesome things. You've been like moving up and just with a little uh, jetpack on you. But do you have any struggles right now that are like helping you make this uh, soulful music? You know, I I think uh, you know in a way I definitely think I grew up way way too quickly. 
um, you know, even with just like moving here, I, I really feel it kind of hit me last year, like maybe six months ago or something. It really, all of a sudden, all this stuff just started like coming up, like childhood stuff, all this just intense life things where oh, for sure. I feel like maybe for the first, you know, 20 years of my life, I was probably on autopilot, just like getting things done, working hard, playing sports or playing music and just like always being like, you know, with the blinders on. Oh yeah. And I feel like, you know, it really hit me um, just uh, just kind of, you know, emotions and all these things that I never, you know, I'm not the most, it's funny because I write songs and I write songs about heartbreak and all these different things, but I'm kind of a little bit of like a happy-go-lucky guy. Like people would not usually suspect One that. might call that an old soul. Yeah, maybe. You know, people have, have accused me of being an old soul. <laughs> worse things. Yeah, there's been worse things said. Um, and you know, I, I, I really think like things kind of hit me like a ton of bricks all of a sudden. And um, yeah, there's been some writing, there's been some... There's it's been good some to be hit by a ton learning. of bricks sometimes. So you're gonna, you get to appreciate it more. Yeah, I, I feel like you do. Because when, when you get rid of the bricks, you can actually really appreciate the lightness oh, of sure. life as oh, opposed yeah. to just like oh everything's great all the time because you know stuff happens oh yeah and it usually isn't then you're like yeah. oh, okay that's this was what's going yeah, on yeah totally and you can really appreciate things for what they are oh yeah you so know. what do you have going on for 2017 the rest of it um it's looking like a, a packed a fully packed year i uh you have any things that we can look forward to yeah i'm gonna have uh my next ep will be coming out so there'll be two more songs coming out shortly um, you can see them at uh, my website. This is, this is JoelTaylor.com. A little plug there. Um, yeah, so I have my next EP coming out, and then I'll have the rest of the album coming out. And we'll combine it all. And um, you know, they'll be we'll be playing shows all around LA and probably all around the US. And um, I'm really excited just to get some new music out there. And, and dude, I can totally say I'm looking forward to it as well. Cool, I'm glad. Thank awesome. You. For our viewers who don't necessarily know you, for the uh, a little more of a plug, uh, what are your socials? All right, so uh, my Instagram is this is Joel Taylor, and uh, Twitter is Joel Taylor Music, and my website is this is JoelTaylor.com. Awesome, man, dude, so much fun, dude, great, Thanks excellent, for me. I really look forward. All right, this is Nick Stubbs reporting for you for Balcony TV. Back to you. Balcony TV.